Well, welcome back, guys. Alright, so I think we're about as ready as we'll ever be to take on Emerald Weapon. Now, I've got everyone in Fury status, and everyone has their limit breaks fully full filled up, so that they can do their level 4 limit breaks right from the get-go. Alright. Equipment-wise, Cloud has the Ultima Weapon, Escort Guard, and a Tough Ring. Tifa has the Premium Heart, a Minerva Band, and a Ribbon. And Barret has the Missing Score, Miss Style, and a Champion Belt. Now, material-wise, not much has changed since the first time I showed you these. The only real difference is that Tifa now has double, uh, slash all, and Cloud also has the underwater material equipped now. Now what that'll do is, normally when we fight Emerald Weapon, there'd be a time limit, we'd have 20 minutes to beat him, but with this equipped we don't have to worry about that. Um, now for this battle, area of effect attacks are going to be extremely important, and you'll see why once we get into the actual battle. But anyway, enough blathering on. Let's take on Emerald Weapon. Let's rock. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so Emerald Shoot always does around 7,000 damage for me. Definitely make sure you have at least 7,000 HP before you come into this battle, otherwise it's not going to be a fun, a fun experience. Alright, the shoulders are open, so now this is when uh, Emerald Weapon really gets dangerous. Now that's a gravity-based attack, that always... It can never kill, but it always does deals damage based on your... I think it deals like 75% damage or something. Now 
You don't want to keep the shoulder of things alive for too long because while they're out, there's a chance he may use his ultimate attack, ultimate attack called like Air Tam Express or something, and you don't want to be hit by it. You seriously don't.
Aha! Finally, I got him! Goodbye, Emerald Weapon! Oh boy, that's an intense fight. Sorry if I wasn't really talking much, I was really focusing on it. <sighs> Finally, I got him. Now, that wasn't my first try. It took me several attempts because I kept dying. But it was worth it in the end. I finally got that sucker. And we got the Earth Harp for winning. But yeah, um, there's not really a whole lot I can explain about the fight. The main thing is his Emerald Shoot, uh, which always, like I said, it always deals around 7,000 damage. 6 to 7,000 depending on your HP. So first things first, you need at least 7,000 to, to survive that attack. When his shoulder's open, he us always uses that gravity-based attack. It can never kill, but it does. It can severely cripple you, either, even if it can't kill you, because it, it can. It deals like 75% of your HP or something. Um, when his shoulders are open, um, once you start attacking him, he'll start countering with like revenge stamp. So that's always annoying to deal with. Main thing is when, it, as soon as his shoulders open. Make sure someone has White Wind ready. Cure that person with like an X Potion or an Elixir. Then use White Wind right away so you can heal everyone. And then try to take out the Shoulder th Lights as quickly as possible before he tries to use his ultimate attack. And they, the Lights just have such a high... Their ATB gauge is so fast, you have, to, you have to really move quickly if you want to destroy them all before they really cause havoc. But um, other than that, it's really just trying to keep him in his pattern, destroy the lights as quickly as possible, then use limit breaks to uh, when the lights are gone. I like to try and use Barrett's Catastrophe to try and cripple the lights quickly, if he has it available. If not, I try to use stuff like Ultima or Summons to get rid of him quickly. Oh boy, that was tough, but we did it. Let's fly back over to Kong, because we can get a reward for having the Earth Harp. Dude, I've got I've got an item for you. Hell yeah, I want to trade it for master material. <laughs> yep, I'll trade it. Now this is definitely a cool reward he gives you. It's a three-piece materia set, and it's all yours. So we got master magic. Master Summon, and Master Command Materia. So this equips all magic, this equips all summons, and this equips all commands. Take off the underwater materia and replace it with Master Command. Vera, you're gonna equip Master Summon. Wait, no. Tifa's gonna put Master Summon. I'm gonna give that magic plus 50% to her. Where's that other magic plus? Barrett, you can have the Master Magic Materia.
What else can I give her? Tifa, you need to have that dexterity plus 50%. For sure. It's not going to do her any good anymore. You're gonna equip Phoenix over Alexander. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm trying to get myself all set up for the fight against Ruby. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. So yeah, um, Master Materia. Master Magic gives us all the magic in the game. Master Summons give us access to all summons, including ones we don't even have at the moment. So she even has access to Knights of the Round, which is something you can only get with with a gold chocobo, really. But because we beat Emerald first, well, we got it this way. And Master Commands give you all the commands of the game as well, including Mime. Both Mime and Knights of the Round are going to be imperative for the fight against Ruby. Alright then, let's fly over to the Gold Saucer. Before we even take him on, I'm going to have to kill two of my party members, as weird as this sounds. So give me just a moment while I take a quick break and get ready. <laughs> 